Hi, I'm Tommy. And I'm Harry. And we're Two, two Fat, Fat Bears. Bears. This is the end of uh, Phase 2, Week 1, and uh, we'll have our results at the end of the show. However, they're kind of mixed this week. <laughs> yeah, and we'll talk about that. We should talk about that now, shouldn't we? We haven't been fully compliant this week. We had a couple of occasions where we kind of had to eat stuff that wasn't properly on the diet, at least one occasion like that, and the other one we kind of got uh, peer pressured into it. <laughs> and that'll happen to you, too. That will, You'll get peer pressured. People around you are going to want you to eat what they eat. They don't care if you're on a diet or not. In fact, they want you to eat what they eat. Sometimes I think to sabotage you. Yeah, you have I to really watch out for that. Sometimes your friends will try to sabotage you if you let them know you're mm -hmm. on the diet. But what we did is, there was, like he said, a couple of meals, and uh, one of them, it did include some potatoes, but it was a very small amount. And this meal was cute. this meal was so small, you, we had to eat the potatoes and oh, the dessert in order to be anywhere near satisfied. Exactly. And then there was a really small piece of cheesecake, and just a real small wedge of and cheesecake, we, and no crust, by the way. And then we walked two miles after that to try we to did. walk it off. <laughs> Right, and then the next evening, which was last evening, um, we were at a party, and well, you'll see. Is this? We'll, we'll have, we'd made deviled eggs, and we made uh, celery sticks with stuffing, and uh, but there were desserts there, one of which I had to have a piece of it because I love Boston cream pie. And the friends that brought it brought it just because they you brought it, it for me, and they didn't know I was on the diet. So anyway, you'll see the results at the end of this episode. So um, the other thing. Um, one of us had a loss, one of us had a gain, I'll tell you that. But the other thing is uh, don't be discouraged uh, if uh, your weight fluctuates a little bit, but look for other things to encourage you. Like this week, I, I needed a pair of pants and I, was, I hadn't done laundry, so I reached into the end of the closet where I'd been putting things that I outgrew, and I found a pair of pants that, that I was able to get into again, and uh, they're not too snug. And, right, and comfortably. They're only one size smaller than what I was wearing, but uh, that's, hey. a, that's a good thing I'm able to fit into a size smaller now. So that's the stuff you look for. It's like, uh, what do you do if you, as he goes this morning, I backslid. You didn't backslide. It's just that the, the scale showed something. Yeah, so we've just given it away. But uh, uh, it's not that. It's like he said, you look for things that, that, that physically and yeah. tangibly. Don't screw around with those numbers too much. Yeah, if you have an occasional up on the, on the scale, uh, stick with it, and it'll eventually Absolutely. go back down. Absolutely. So enjoy the show. We've been invited to a potluck dinner tonight, and the hosts say they're serving sandwich fixings, which means they're going to provide the bread and the lunch meat and the cheese all as individuals so you can make your own sandwiches. Which means you, you don't have to pick up the bread so that you can just have the lunch meat and cheese. However, because it's potluck, we wanted to bring something, and we wanted to bring something that was safe to have on the diet. So we're making um, stuffed celery, and we're stuffing it with this uh, light pimento cheese, and this uh, fresh ground peanut butter that we got at Whole Foods. So I'm just, it's just very simple, straightforward. Just Anybody can do this. Take your celery and... Even if you don't cook. Yep. And I wouldn't put too much... Uh, yeah. You know, if either. It's just supposed to accent. It's something to go like an hors d'oeuvre. Yeah. And then Harry's going to make uh, deviled eggs. And so we'll show you the presentation uh, when we've got the deviled eggs and the celery all together on a platter. Okay, guys and gals, uh, this week we're going to do a little cooking. And it's so simple. We're going to go to a party today and we want to take something that is South Beach safe. Well, who doesn't love deviled eggs? I love them and I, everybody I know does. So we've got a very simple recipe right here. We're just going to run through it real quick. Uh, obviously deviled eggs require eggs. So what we have here are uh, 18 eggs. That should be enough for the party. And I've already boiled them, uh, shelled them, cut them in half, and taken the yolks out. So we have our yolks here. And to that we're going to add um, our mayonnaise first. And this is... Nine tablespoons. Nine tablespoons of mayo. So I'm going to just quickly get that in there. And then our next ingredient is um, salt. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. By the way, we'll put this on our blog page for this episode. This is a triple batch, so the recipe we'll post is just a single batch. Correct. So there's our salt right there. And our next thing is the mustard. Dry mustard. Dry mustard. Three quarter teaspoon of dry mustard. That's there. 
See, we don't want to use prepared mustard because it adds liquid to the uh, mix, and it's already plenty mix, uh, plenty. Uh, oh, no, that was one and a half teaspoons of dry mustard. One and a half teaspoons. Okay. And this is three quarters teaspoon of black pepper. Black pepper, in it goes. And then we have some fresh parsley. Six tablespoons of uh, snipped parsley. Snipped parsley, nice and chopped. And finally, we have one and a half cups of shredded cheese. And it's our uh, Borden low-fat cheese, so that's what we want to use. Put all that in there. Okay? And we mix, and then we'll just simply stuff these with a spoon. And that's it. So what we have here is uh, we've mixed it all together. It's going to be, it's pretty thick. It's like cookie dough. See that? It's like cookie dough, but that's fine. You want it to be pretty, uh, pretty stiff so that it'll hold up in the eggs but not be too stiff. So therefore don't be afraid to add a little extra mayonnaise if it is too thick. We're stuffing our deviled eggs and our celery and we're ready to go to our party. Here's our deviled eggs. Lovely and lusciously stuffed. And here's our stuffed celery with uh, peanut butter and... Pimento cheese. cheese. Light pimento cheese. You'll be a hit at the party with those, those two dishes. Now this is reduced fat mayonnaise since you're supposed to be cutting fat and picking lower fat items. Uh, this, uh, this particular brand is the Hellman's Reduced Fat and we've really enjoyed that the last few weeks. We've used it mostly in tuna salad and chicken salad, but uh, there's plenty of recipes that call for mayonnaise. So. Like deviled eggs. Okay, and uh, for those people like me who love bologna, you can still have bologna. As long as it's something like this, it's light. That's reduced fat, low fat. That's cool. That's good. And then cheese, you have to be careful because uh, we've been getting the block cheese, which generally is not low fat. Try this. Uh, this try it in the package. It's already shredded. It's, uh, it's more convenient for you. Yes, it is a little more expensive, but you can guarantee yourself that you're going to get the low fat type cheese. That's what you want. We actually got this. This uh, the, the cheddar here, and also the combination of uh, cheddar and Monterey Jack. Harry, two seventeen point four. Yeah, two pounds. All right. And for Tommy, we have two ninety one point six. He went up. A, what two pounds? Two pounds. It happens. So this week, well, uh, we have more opportunities. To fail again, we have a couple of parties that we'll need to be diligent about trying to stay on the diet. And party time is always a difficult time for dieters. Uh, the holidays is very difficult. Uh, you know, just uh, be normal, be natural, don't have too much. You know, like, like Dr. Augustan says, just have a couple of bites of dessert or something. It'll satisfy that taste, that you that craving, and then you won't have the whole piece. So it really won't, it won't hurt you. So uh, that's it for this week, and we'll see you all again next week.